Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new game which is currently under development, and what we're going to be looking at tonight here is a demo of a game uh, called The Troop, and The Troop is a turn-based tactical war game set in World War II. Uh, it is um, a, uh, I guess, a, a part-time project that's being developed by a group called PLAstudios.uk or .co.uk, uh, and it looks at World War II from the British and Canadian perspective, I believe. Um, and uh, fights through from D-Day to the end of the war here. So it says, um, demo com oh, so the demo is just the British faction, which is playable, but I think I saw somewhere that it said British and Canadian. It might just be British. In any event, we're going to be playing the demo of the troop, which is this upcoming turn-based uh, war game. Uh, the demo is available on Steam, so you can pick it up. It does look like there's five scenarios currently. The first one is really just sort of a basic infantry tutorial, uh, then there's sort of heavy weaponry and gunnery, tank combat, um, and then I'm assuming the last two are a little bit more real scenario like armor and infantry sort of co combined operations, uh, and then the first meeting with the legendary panzer. So this is probably the only true scenario of what the game might look like, whereas the rest of this is presumably some tutorial stuff. But why don't we go in, because I have not played this before. Let's go ahead and jump in for the first mission here in the tutorial contact and learn the basics of infantry combat in this upcoming World War II game. D-Day, 0530 hours. Okay, so 5.30 in the morning on D-Day. Dawn breaks a section of British airborne infantry drop during the night have finally located their objective. I don't know what our objective is, but... Um, we must secure the area before the first Allied troops arrive on the beaches. Okay. So chapter one of the game, we are commanding British Airborne Troops, and it is called Contact. Mission to eliminate and push out all enemy units in the marked junction. So apparently we've got to take a road junction. Um, some basic controls. I don't think I need that anymore. Okay, so if we take a look here and we zoom out... You can see here's the map. It's dawn. You can see there's a little bit of fog in the air. Um, looks like there's some different information about like the terrain type up here. I'm assuming the highlighted ones are the terrain that you're in. So if I select this unit or this unit, you can see different different traits sort of light up, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, this, this is just unit information. But it looks like we need to get eyes on the cottage and we need to clear the enemy infantry. So there appear to be enemy troops over here in front of this cottage. It looks like there's three of them. There's a little flag here on this cottage, which presumably means it is uh, our objective. There's a crossroads here. We can move around the map using our Q and E and WASD keys. Um, and uh, it all looks pretty nice. So you can see here the hashed in area is the the combat zone and we've got three sort of groups of our own it looks like this group back here has three troops one lmg one smg uh, and i guess a third person with something this group has three rifles uh, so a presumably enfield bolt action rifles and an smg and the same here so two infantry sections and then what i assume is as a machine gun section um, so first things first let's go ahead and figure out how we move our troops Go ahead and click move down here, and you can see there's the text base, so we can move based on hexes here. We'll move our LMG over here through this hedgerow line, I guess, and into this field. They're still behind this area, so I'm assuming they're still under cover from the enemy. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to move this group here. They have two smoke grenades. I'm going to move them into this wood line here. Not sure if they're exposed here or if this is still wood. Two, three, three. It's just their movement. So move these guys through the woods. Looks like they're still in the woods here based on that movement. I don't want to obviously run across open ground in front of enemy troops. And then these guys are up over here to the left of the cottage. We can move them. I don't know what that exclamation point means. 
I guess that's their maximum movement is all. Hmm. Let's try and have these guys move over here. And then I'm going to try and get them to go up behind the cottage. Okay. Yeah, it appears to be I go, you go. So there's a line of sight tool, which lets you see what you can all see. So actually, we might be able to be seen by these guys. Based on whatever this all means. But we are kind of at long range, so I'm hoping hoping it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so that's all our units for the first turn. Let's end the turn and see what happens here. The enemy is just south of the cottage here. It looks like they're moving into the cottage, as far as we can tell. And they're engaging our troops, and we lost two men, it looks like, as well as being suppressed. So they pulled back into the cottage and opened fire on my troops, who are apparently in the open. We have 19 turns remaining. I've got one unit left here. Just the single LMG gunner. So we'll move. I'm assuming this will. Assuming if I move here, they won't be able to see me. All right. What about line of sight here? So these guys can move just into the middle of the road. That's great. So what's the line of sight tool say for this? They will not be visible to these bad guys. Let's move up here behind this brick wall. I think they'll be safe there. So I got my first unit shot to pieces pretty well, but we'll see. I'm going to keep those other guys in that tree line. They're still shooting at my machine gunner, huh? And he's dead. I didn't think they could see him back there. Oh, wait, there's more Germans. Infantry in buildings can be tough to dislodge with small arms fire. Try to get your men right up to the building and pop a grenade through the window. Okay, thanks for the advice there. Can we hit these guys? Looks like we've got 74% and 82% chance of getting these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we eliminated that whole squad of whatever that was that was moving up there. So that airborne group just eliminated an enemy unit. Meanwhile, there's still enemy troops here in this building. I'm going to move these guys along this brick wall. I don't think they can get shot at from behind the brick wall. And we did just, we have these other, this other squad guarding the road down this way. I would have jumped the wall to get up to the flank of this building, but I don't know if there's enemy troops in this wood line back here either, so. I think we'll leave them there. Seriously, they can see me everywhere. I'm behind a goddamn stone wall! Well, maybe they can fire directly horizontally and hit me there too. Let's get these troops out of the building. Or out of this wood line. Cross the road. Hopefully there's no more troops coming down this roadway. And there we go. Apparently there was a window there, despite the fact that it looked like there was a boarded up. It's like there's a freaking pallet there. We have smoke grenades. This fence line. Oh shit. There's troops over here. Well, there's line of sight blocked over here, so if they can't if we can't see them, hopefully they can't see us. I'll fire at the guys we just spotted though. So they're suppressed and we killed one of them. 
We've got just one squad left. Are oh, they going to pull out of the cottage now and shoot at me? Great. Looks like there's still two guys in the cottage. One group pulled out. Oh boy. All right, these guys are like point blank. They should be goners. I guess we'll see how vulnerable we are to these troops over here that left the building. It is I go, you go by the looks of it. 10% suppression, that's not too bad. I don't think we lost any men there either. Oh, uh, we have lost one man in this group. One man. All right, so it's three to one in this group, and then I think there's two left in the building. So those guys are pulling back to the rear of the woods. Okay. That one guy. to this isn't the max I'm hoping I can throw a grenade at the building hmm. I don't care if there's no invisible fire at the building hopefully it at least suppresses them he's running away and I'm getting lit up Fucking A. Might I suggest that you try keeping the men under your command alive? It's a bold strategy, I know, but perhaps worth a go. Well, we lost the first tutorial mission. Oh, let's try that again. <sighs> D-Day, 0530 hours. As dawn breaks, a section of British airborne infantry dropped during the night have finally located their objective. Your mission is to eliminate, eliminate and push out all, push out enemy, all enemy units in the Mont Junction, Junction as quickly as possible. As possible. Possibly. Get eyes on the cottage. Try to locate the enemy before you reveal yourselves. Locate the enemy before we re reveal ourselves, but we already located at least one group of troops in front of the cottage. The cottage is the objective. Again, I, I think moving these troops here into the adjacent hex to the road is, is still a good strategy. So I think we'll move that squad over here. Um, these boys... What if we keep them back here? If we don't move them into this field, I'm assuming these guys can't see them. And then... Do we want to flank up to the right? I guess we could go around the stone wall this way rather than going down the road. This proves the superiority of the M1 Grand. Well, we're fighting against the Germans. There's no M1 Grand involved here. All right, so enemy troops moving down just opposite of the roadway. The troops in front of the cottage didn't shoot at me. Looks like they probably didn't even spot me because they did not relocate themselves. So we've got these troops in this wood line that we can go ahead and fire at these guys trying to move toward the cottage. And we eliminated them. Excellent ambush there, boys. One enemy group down. We'll keep moving this group of three troops toward the wood line. I mean, they can't see from over there. We'll move these guys. Can we fire at these guys from here? We can. All right, well, let's shoot at the guys in the open. 
60% suppression. I don't know that we killed anybody. It looks like we might have killed one. But they're, they're suppressed. So that lone enemy soldier appears to be running. I don't know if the morale of troops in this break or not. Infantry in buildings can be tough to dislodge with small arms fire. Try to get your men right up to the building and pop a grenade through the window. Good advice. Now let's stay over here behind the... I'm assuming they're still behind the... So this building presumably can't see me. Or rather the troops in that building. here and we'll see what the enemy can do here this one guy's still running away no indication of further enemy troops yet This way. Minimal chance. Can we throw a smoke grenade? Confirm. I'm assuming that was a smoke grenade. Or not. I guess I had to click the actual smoke grenade icon. My bad. in there? Yes, sir. Oh, the site blocked and he's he's shooting me. Alright, toss a smoke grenade. There you go. Can we still toss a regular grenade now? Yeah. All right, there's an enemy inside the building. We just tossed a grenade on him. Move these guys through this brush here. I forgot about these troops back here also. So I'll move them up as quick as we can. In the turn and see what happens here. So we tossed a grenade on the troops in the cottage. God damn it, there's a fucking sniper back there. No, there's a squad too. <sighs> well, we just lost one of our squads. And that MG did nothing. Good. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have them toss a smoke grenade. That should block. Oh, I like how the way the map hashes in what's blocked from line of sight by the smoke. That's nice. Nice. 50% suppression of these guys. Can we hit these guys, or are they behind the, the smoke? Yeah, smoke is blocking the line of sight. Yes, Alright, well, I'll take the smoke blocking line of sight and end the turn. We'll see if the MG repositions again. They're shooting through, so they're allowed to shoot through the smoke, but my men can't?
All right, these guys are in the open. Light them up. There you go. Move north of the smoke. I'm assuming you'll be blocked from the MG, but you might be able to fire. This is minimal, but I'll take my chances. 20% suppression. He's trying to move through the smoke to get to me. Oof. I thought I was still behind the smoke there. Oh, man. They got all but one of my guys. This is embarrassingly bad. All right, so we got that guy. Can these guys still move? No. All right, so it's just the one enemy machine gunner now. I'm assuming my troop in the smoke can't be seen. Yep, looks like it can't be. All right, let's move adjacent to the building and then we'll toss, if we have a grenade left, we'll toss a grenade inside. Got him. The area is clear of enemy infantry, but don't get cocky. Like most of those defending the beaches, these were reluctant conscripts from the east forced into service. You'll have a Great, much tougher time considering how difficult it was. Well, so we lost an airborne infantry group. We lost one group. Another one lost heavy casualties. The enemy lost three Ostruppen, Ostruppen groups and one LMG group. So I'll take that as a victory, but it wasn't a pretty victory. So we've completed combat. We can look through Per Mar Per Terum. Basics of heavy weapon gunnery. So another tutorial mission here. Let's see how this one plays out. Pasco, yeah, it's a it's a demo of a game that's currently in development called The Troop, which is a turn-based World War II game. So the struggle for the beaches is underway. 700 hours in D-Day. Specialized tanks are landed to help tackle defensive emplacements and give the infantry a chance. Okay. Chapter 2. Help the Allied infantry get off this beach and clear those buildings. The turret must be traversed and aimed at a target tile before its weapon can be fired. Okay, so we have to aim the turret before we can actually fire. Okay. Alright, so it can take more than one turn if you use up all your action points, I guess. I'm assuming these troops are AI-led and not my own that are running here. So, it looks like we're on the beaches of Normandy and I'm assuming we're just going to be commanding the armor. Presumably, we can't lose more than a certain number of uh, our friendly AI troops that are moving across the beaches here. I hope we get more than one tank. Okay. Did it just say I can't advance any further? Bunker on our right. So I'm assuming this is the anti-tank bunker right here. So we'll traverse our turret here. I think we'll fire. Nice. We eliminated this enemy bunker, which I'm assuming is a machine gun bunker. We need to move these troops up to take out this anti-tank bunker. So it does look like we have three units here, three commando units. An SMG and two rifles, three rifles and an SMG and an infantry LMG and two rifles. No smoke. Some of these guys do have smoke. Let's move 
these guys three hexes forward. Let's pop some smoke. Lock their line of sight. Pop and smoke. I gotta get closer to the bunker so I can drop, I'm assuming, grenades into it. I don't see any other indications of enemy troops. We knocked out the one bunker here. Well, it ends turn one. Shit. Enemy troops in these buildings are shooting up our infantry. So I'm guessing the game is telling me you can't move your tank till you take care of the AT gun, which my commanders are supposed to do. But from the current position, presumably I can provide some fire support on these buildings with German troops in them. You can see another tank which presumably was destroyed by that anti-tank gun. I'm curious if I can... Alright, never mind. Can we aim over here? Let's move the turret to this point. Got it. Okay, so we eliminated that squad. There are more squads, but it would have taken more action points to traverse the turret over toward this objective here. So hopefully these guys don't get shot up too badly. We took out one of the two in the buildings. There is another machine gun bunker back here, which we need to eliminate. then presumably my commandos can't drop grenades on this structure quite yet. And I don't even know why I moved that unit. Yeah. All right. Well, we should, I'm thinking we should be protected from the enemy, from the smoke. The smoke lingers at least two turns. Shit. The anti-tank gun just lit up that squad. And uh, that MG in that house just did some damage there too. Also, one of the remote bunkers did take out some of our troops there in front of the anti-tank bunker. We do have a squad pushing across into the roadway here. The enemy does have a very good position, no doubt. But the good news is we should be able to knock this bunker out here now. Boom! There goes the anti-tank gun. Let's get these guys, let's try and get these guys behind this building. There's some cover. Okay, meanwhile, we knocked out the anti-tank gun bunker. this target they're too far back all right we'll rotate here and fire 
So we took out another enemy unit here in this house line. Reporting. And then we'll move the tank forward next turn. Uh, it said something about setup. I didn't see anything saying steal, though. So we'll have to see if we can take over that anti-tank gun. All right, so these troops are still getting shot to pieces. We are doing some work to support them. Looks like they only took one hit from the enemy this turn, so that was a good result as they move through this first line of buildings now. We know there's at least one enemy squad in the, in the buildings beyond, and then also this MG bunker over here. I don't see an option here. I don't know what this setup flag... There's just a flag here that's a setup. Yes, sir. Occupy. Nice! Okay, so we did occupy the enemy anti-tank gun. three hexes here and then I'm gonna try and drop some smoke this should hopefully protect their troops to the left from an enemy fire meanwhile my tank I think it can move forward now move the tank off the beach boys move toward this nice they can hit there from from over there so it does suppress these troops at least it didn't destroy them but i'm assuming that'll help my troops advancing up the beach we'll have to see what we can do with that pack next turn they're going to shoot at our troops in the building do a little bit of suppression damage here this building over here is a new enemy that i didn't see before Looks like the troops in the building I shelled didn't do anything this turn. It'd be great if my allies actually shot at the enemy rather than just advance off the beach. Alright. I guess fire again? Did they eliminate him yet? Okay, they eliminated that squad. Can I... Aim this over here. All right, so we can swing our pack over to hit this bunker, but we can't fire this turn. Are they going to be inside of this MG bunker? I think they are. Move into the smoke there. I hope they can't see you. We'll find out. All right, so there's still the enemy M MG in this building. We destroyed the building over here on the left. This bunker is still shooting at my men in the smoke even. I don't even think I need the pack into this turn. I think my troops that are advancing just adjacent of it will be able to knock it out. But it'll be fun to use a, a German gun against them. And then we'll, s we'll move our tank to take out this building over here. So first things first, let's use the pack. It gives me an 82% chance, I'm assuming, of destroying these guys. Oh, it didn't quite kill them all, huh? Well, good thing we've got grenades. They're suppressed fully. I'm kind of surprised they're not dead yet. 
I don't know if like suppression, if you're fully suppressed, if you can... Turn, can't aim it directly. Well, in that case, let's advance. Advance through the barbed wire, boys. Couldn't you duck too? Probably. Oh man, they just wrecked this unit in this house. We still have some additional allies. Why don't my allies ever shoot? Four soldiers here? Well, there's only one left. Oh, there they go. Okay. Good job, boys. Give me a 100% chance of success. Toss another grenade in there. Okay, so that enemy unit is destroyed, and so... These guys... This direction. I gotta get these this tank. Closer to this building. I think I can bust through that wall, maybe through this fence. Alternatively, we'll see if we can fire that pack at that building. Maybe we can take the building out from behind or suppress them somehow. They are shooting up our troops in those buildings, though. I'm just not sure how to get to them, Mars. I agree that they're on the back left corner of that building, so I don't have a good line of sight on them. I can move my troops up behind, but that's going to take a while, and I don't know how long my allies are going to have before they get themselves killed. Yeah. to get these get this okay that's exactly what i need get this tank through here hopefully there's no enemy anti-tank guns i don't think they have panzer files at this stage well, we'll just have to move forward a little bit so we can fire at them at point blank i should have the angle next turn if i'm in this building and i'm these germans though i'm thinking oh fuck Although maybe these troops in this building being able to fire head-on will do the work for me. Ah, point blank range! <laughs> well... coming up from behind. I don't think I need to do anything with these other troops, but we will occupy this bunker at least. Just in case. I don't know if any enemy reinforcements are coming. I'm assuming not. And they're trying to evacuate or pull back, which is going to put them right in the crosshairs of my advancing troops coming up the rear of the building. and then I think you can drop a grenade in on them. Reporting. 
Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Oops, just wasted a round. Um, can these guys shoot? They can. Pack incoming. Got them. Hell yeah, brothers. Enemy losses. Five centimeter pack 38. Osttruppen group. Two LMG groups. Three infantry groups. Or actually, three LMG groups. Three infantry groups and a pack 38. We lost one commando infantry squad. I'll take that. That's a pretty good result. So that is the second battle in this tutorial, I'm assuming. The next one will be fire and maneuver, learning the basics of tank combat. Remember, there's only five sort of pre-scenarios in this uh, demo, but we'll go ahead and check out Fire and Maneuver and the basics of tank combat. D-Day, Midday. A lot of scenarios for one day, huh? With the initial beach landing successful, British forces move into the fields beyond. Oh, don't worry, nothing will go wrong. In the lead, a reconnaissance troop of honey light tanks keeps a lookout for the enemy. Fire and maneuver. Yeah, just what I want. Stewarts. Reconnaissance units oh God. can avoid engaging the enemy. Sometimes, however, a fight is unavoidable. <laughs> Steadiness dictates the accuracy of shooting attacks. Steadiness is reduced by moving or by suppression from enemy fire. If any action is taken which reduces a unit's steadiness to zero, then it is counted as a final action. Okay, so that's a new mechanic we haven't really been looking at before. I think I've seen it, but... Oh, look, a Stug 33. Oh, no! He's knocked out. Can honey tanks even take out a Stug? All right, the enemy's over here. Oh man, it's like the scene in Fury. Three tanks charge across an open field against an enemy unit that vastly outguns them. Advance, boys. All right, we'll do this. Advance five hexes. They're gonna turn and break across this field. Fire! Maybe you can, like, suppress him a little bit. That was obviously a miss. Break through the fences. You might not even have to aim. So our steadiness is down here. Can't really tell where the steadiness is. I guess it's right here, this little icon near, near the bottom. Could a could a Stuart's main gun even do anything against a Stug? Is that even a thing? I like that the guy in the back has the most steadiness. Although I guess it's just because I hadn't issued all those orders. All right, I think that's everybody. So we fired off three rounds. Reporting. And we'll see what the enemy does if they take another one of us out. They missed, thank God. Okay, it's literally the scene from Fury. Gotcha. Quick, three tanks, tanks rush and get behind. Then we can do a circle around the enemy. On the way. Do we have any smoke? Can I drop smoke? Yes, sir. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna fire just because on on the off chance that deflected shots. 
the side or rear. I'm just assuming that the enemy will have the same suppression mechanic that we do. So if they take a direct hit, that'll make them rattled maybe, unless apt to have a successful shot. Another miss. If I can get... If I can get him to rotate on me. Maybe he won't be able to hit. I don't think he's going to rotate back the other way. So we'll try and close and we may be able to get a nice shot into his flank. Yes, sir. I'm curious if there's any chance, like it's kind of not the frontal armor, it's kind of on the edge. Accurate aim, hole or tracks. Let's go for hole. Deflected. That was kind of on the side. Oh no. He's knocked out. Thank knocked out. Yeah, that was like point blank range too. If you can immobilize him by hitting his tracks or disable his gun, the crew will take bail out. Can we All right, let's advance here? Moving out. Stability is very low. Damaged side MP. Okay, well, we damaged him. Yes, sir. Set his tracks. Maybe we can prevent him from swiveling. Tracks are damaged, which is good. Because if, we, if he can't turn his tank, then he can't bring his gun to bear on this other tank. Yes! So the enemy lost a Stug and we lost two Stuart Mark III's. I'll take that every day. All right. Well, that was a quick one. So we've got two more left in the demo. We've got Crossroads, Armor and Infantry, Cooperate in the Hedgerows. And then we've got Here They Come, first meeting with the legendary Panzers. Um, but that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. I hope you guys did enjoy our first look at the demo for a brand new game called The Troop, a World War II turn-based uh, war game. Um, it has sort of some of the vibes of like XCOM type odds making and die rolling, uh, if you will, but it's a really interesting looking game. It doesn't claim to be super accurate or realistic, but it does feel authentic and I really am enjoying my time with it so far. Obviously, you saw me F up the uh, tutorial mission. I debated editing that out, but uh, watching me flail around, I think, can be some somewhat entertaining, and it only took a few minutes. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We are going to do more, so we'll probably have an entire episode dedicated to the next battle because that was a longer fight. The last two battles really are kind of like full-blown engagements and less tutorial um, and so I think they're, they're going to be interesting to watch, but let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if this looks interesting to you, if you want to see more of it, uh, if you want us to keep a close eye on it. So when it comes out, we play it, uh, or not, uh, that is, uh, you can find the game. There's a link in the description. If you're interested, uh, it is on steam. You can wish list it. Uh, but again, it's called the troop. The demo is available. If you want to go ahead and download it yourself, uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed until next time though. This is the historical gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time I'm out.